Maybe go further. He said, the husband man that labor that must be the first partaker of the you know most time we neglect the former one we just quote this one the reason why i said let's go to this one because that's the one you know right but from what we have read to this point you now understand why this thing is needed here because it's a consolation yesterday i was talking about how you minister to the lord and you must minister to us a minister is this is this point but before you come to this point you must understand the other one I get my point now because paul was the one that was counseling his son timothy about the necessity of what he's going to go through as a minister timothy knew the lord from a younger age he knew the lord even from his mother and his grandmother but paul had to teach him beyond knowing the lord now you are into ministry paul have to paul was the one that added him to the church ministries that's why paul is his father in the lord in ministry his mother we are his spiritual mothers at home Timothy was a young guy that was trained from home as a Christian. Paul gave him visibility in ministry. So when Paul included him in ministerial activity, tried to make him bishop, all of those things, Paul began to teach him how he has to be able to lead others. So he tried to let him know that, Timothy, all these things that you have known, your number one job is to be able to commit it to other people. It then means that as a minister, if you are not teaching other people you are wrong it doesn't matter whether you have a church or you don't have a church this was timothy a son of paul i don't know why his spiritual children why the people is mentoring but paul was trying to let him understand that you must be responsible to teach other people as i am mentoring you you also need to mentor others i feel it's a waste of time to mentor somebody that's not willing to mentor another person it's an insult you are wicked and bad if you feel that you should not teach another person but you only you should be taught every day you come papa what is the seventh dimension of power papa what is righteousness what are the seven dimensions of forgiveness papa this but yet again you don't give attention to anybody to teach anybody anything why are you learning the things you are learning so that you can go on facebook because that's where it ends and your neighbor does not even know that you know God. You see where you're missing it. There are so many people today that do not really know that all what they are learning number one is of course it has to be applicable to your life first. Then you commit it to others. The Bible says, I have called Abraham, your father and Sarah, your mother, look unto them. You say, how can I hide this thing from Abraham? Because I know he's going to teach his children children. Everything that God is teaching you as a minister so that you can teach others. And let me please say with you, many more times you may not even have a full understanding of them. I used to believe a long time ago that what you don't, is you understand, don't teach it or something like that. You know, all those kind of things when we are growing or don't see all kinds of things. What you have not experienced, don't communicate it. Oh God, there are many things that you will not experience them and you will have to communicate it. You can't even fully experience everything. Because in fellowship, as you communicate to you too, you become a partaker of it. Because it's pride for you to think that you have come into the maturity of what you are telling other people. This thing that I'm telling you, me too, myself, is, is entering me too. Because I have to go and put myself under the same check. I have to apply the same thing. How many times I will sit down with my assistant, the spirit now doing, I will say, see, everything we are teaching, we need to listen to them again. I say, let it not be that we share principle and we are not applying them. Because it's possible. And he said that the training of a man of God is like the training of a soldier. And there is no soldier that is trained with comfort. You are trained with hardship. You have to endure hardship. It's not a cause. It's not. Write it down. As a minister, you don't blow, you grow. 
and it's expedient that you grow it's not as if they cannot give you stars as you join army today in fact they can make you a major general in fact they can make you a field marshal all those decorations are there they can just carry and put on your body but it's an abuse of authority i get my point if i wire one billion to this young boy account now i do not help him i'm telling you i didn't help him i said maybe allah his mother and his father have access to it maybe they can help him but he there is nothing he doesn't know if you ask him now he doesn't have plan for 10 million he doesn't in the same way that if i decorate you a star two star three star in army you don't know the value of it you don't it's a waste so every star you see a soldier general has eh? is as a result of a scar it's a story it's a memory it's a track record it's a it's, it's an endurance it's a pain and everyone that they put they deserve it all of this decoration they deserve it it's the same way that it's going to be against order for god to just wake up automatically and make you a general in the spirit you know most times you see people they call themselves generals in the, in the spirit generals right god's generous <laughs> One guy during his birthday because he saw that they used to do for all these them that the kumi and the rest you no know, they would decorate them and put them all this army one young guy the face was too young i don't know how the guy that did the picture did not even find a way to give him a very old face so that at least he look old very young guy and full of all kinds of stars and general say god's general happy birthday to god's general when you look at it you know it's a joke You don't just blow like that. You grow. I heard about the story of Idi Ami. Idi Ami Dada. Idi Ami, we just call a small boy and say, Today, I want to promote my son to the statue of a general. He just carry his small son and puts all stars on him. He tells all the other generals to salute him. It was him that decorated himself Fid Machel, conqueror of the British Empire. He put rank upon himself. I mean, you know about the dictator Idi Amin that once upon a time leave. It's an abuse of authority. Your small boy that have not gone to military school, he, has not, he doesn't know anything. You just decorate him and all generals salute him. Enjoy the decoration until the day that you are demanded to enter the field. Because a day will come that you must prove. When we go further, you see what Timothy was told by Paul. You have to prove this your calling. I get to my point now. A time is going to come that you will have to prove what you call your calling. You are an apostle, you are a prophet, you are this. No problem. In the day that is demanded, can you prove it? You that to live your life is hard serving Jesus. 